I thank you, Yahweh, hallelujah, for you being all seeing, all knowing, hallelujah. Thank you, Yahweh. I'm asking you, Yahweh, to cover the children in your blood, Yahweh. The babies, Yahweh. Yes. Oh, Yahweh, those that want to have an abortion, I'm asking you to bind up each spirit, Yahweh. Yes. Send them back to the pits of the burning hell, Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh, because you said, Thou shalt not work kill. Amen. Oh, Yahweh, that is one of your commandments, Yahweh. Yes. Oh, Yahweh. Help us not to kill spiritual or natural yes. in your name, Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh, help us, Yahweh. Because these tongues can do a lot of killing themselves. Yes. Oh, Yahweh. Yes. But you help us, Yahweh. Help us to speak those things that are signed up. No matter who like it, no matter who don't like, like it. Yes. Hallelujah. Help your people to speak something about you. Yes. Hallelujah. No matter people say you're judging the world. Hallelujah. Because when we say what thus says Yahweh, hallelujah, you ain't judging. Hallelujah. Yes. If it's in the word, you ain't judging. Yes. Hallelujah. I'll say it again. Yes. If you're in the word, yes, if you're in the Torah, yes. if you're saying what Torah is saying, yes. you ain't judging. Hallelujah. Not turning back, hallelujah, not looking back. 
Hallelujah. It's time to go forward. Hallelujah. Oh, Yahweh, I thank you what you're doing. Hallelujah, I thank you for what you're doing. Hallelujah. 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 You said be in this world, but not be of this world. Yes. Hallelujah, thank you, Yahweh. Those that are not being obedient to all your words, I'm asking you to reveal yourself to us more and more in the name of Yahweh. I'm asking you, Yahweh, to give us the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding how we should live. Hallelujah, live like the, the Torah said live. You help us, Yah. Hallelujah, come on up in the Torah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help us to lay aside every sin and way yeah. that be so easy to be a set us. In the name of Yahweh, I do say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's give y'all a hand clap. Hallelujah. Now we get ready for Chief Apostle Norman Gosling to come around, amen, and blow the show for us. Let's give him a hand clap of praise as he prepares. Thank you for having me here. 
thank you, Abby Yahweh, for the viewers, Abby Yahweh. Thank you for your uh, Father for our children, Abby Yahweh. We're praying that you save each and every individual, Abby Yahweh, and we stand in intercession for every father, for every man, woman, boy, girl, and child, Abby Yahweh. Praying, Abby Yahweh, the eyes will be open, Abby Yahweh, to your truth. Oh, that you make this devil take his hands off the eyes of the people, Abby Yahweh. So that they can see and obey your holy word, Abi Yahweh, your real word, Abi Yahweh. Help us all, Abi Yahweh. Walk in Kadesh, walk in holiness, Abi Yahweh. We thank you and we praise you and we glorify you. In the holy name of Yeshua Hamasaiah, we do say, Amen. Amen. So getting ready to recite the Ten Commandments. And you that have your complete Jewish Bible, you'll find the Ten Commandments in the book of Shammah, the 20th chapter 1 through 17. And also you'll find it in the, um, the King James Virgin Bible, Amen, Exodus, the 20th chapter 1 through 17. And you that are in here, the Ten Commandments are framed up, Amen, upon the wall and in the pulpit. Amen. And let us begin, Amen, to recite. The Ten Commandments. And, and God, God spake all of these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness, or anything that is in heaven above. Uh, that is in the earth beneath, hallelujah, that is in the water, that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taking his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all of thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy gallows, nor thy strangers, that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day, and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbors, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is not a name. Come on, let's give him a hand clap for Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many of you know, amen, that the word of Yah is right? Amen. And I'm going to tell you, if you want to make into the kingdom of God, we're going to have to obey. Yes. We're going to have to live according to his word. Everybody like they dead or tired or something tonight. Hallelujah. I'm glad to be in the house of yes, I am. I'm glad to be in the house of y'all. I ain't got to wait on to see if anybody else going to clap their hands or say amen. If you got your sure, you ought to do something. Do something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid, amen. You know, amen. You ain't no harm in clapping. Amen. Ain't no harm in saying amen. Yeah. Ain't no harm in praising God. Yeah. Ain't no harm in it. Yeah. You say you say you ought to be praising him. Hallelujah. Yeah. God. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but.
to myself. He wakes me up. He keeps me going. He the one that keeps me in my right mind. He the one that gives me the ability to walk, to talk, to do whatever I got to do. It's God. It's not me. I'm not keeping me. I don't have the ability to keep myself. And I come into the house of God to lift him up, to praise him. That's what I come to church for, to, to lift him up, to praise him, Amen. to hear the word, yes. to be a blessing, yes. to serve him. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I don't care too far to turn around. I don't care too far to look back into the world of sin. Yes. I don't care too far, amen, to let go the hands of y'all. Amen. I don't care kind of too far. Hallelujah, too far and too long. Amen. And the time is up on us. Yes. And your backside now ain't no sure thing that you'll get yourself back to him. Yes. Oh, backsliding every day. Yes, Lord. Oh, nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, a bad pants. Oh, a skirt. Over sex, over drugs, over money, over car, over land. People backsliding every day over this mess. Yes, they want to make God out of everything. They want to serve everything but the true and the living God. Hallelujah, Lord. But one day, you miss heaven and go to hell. You're going to wish you had to serve the true and the living God. You gonna wish you had obeyed him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then just come to church sitting on the pew. Uh -huh. You gonna wish you had a did more than that? Cause you ain't gonna make it into the kingdom of God that's coming to church sitting on the pew. It's a work to do when you say you say. Yes, yes. Come on, I love y'all. It's more than preaching and teaching yes. and singing. Hallelujah. And clapping your hands and stuffing your feet. Yes. Come on, I love y'all. Hallelujah. I don't know about y'all. But like I say, y'all are good to me. He keep me in my right mind. Yes, Lord. He teach me how to love and to forgive. Yes. Hallelujah. How to walk upright. How to treat people right. Yes. Y'all does this. And not just sometimes, but all the time. Okay, what they done said, what they done done, I'm going to still do what is right. Through y'all that strengthened me. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. You that have your Bibles. You that have your Torah. You that have the complete Jewish Bible. We go on to Luke, the 10th chapter, chapter 10. That's, that's Luke, chapter 10 tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. This is just a little song that I had started singing early, trying to sing. God, y'all just put it in my Set your mind on y'all. Everything is going to be all right. Set your mind upon y'all. Everything is going to be all right. Set your mind on y'all. Everything is going to be all right. Set your mind upon y'all. Everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. Put your mind on y'all. Put your mind on serving the Lord. Yes, Lord. Everything going to be all right, people. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. Amen. But I don't want nothing, amen, to cloud my mind. Amen. Against y'all. Nothing and nobody. Hallelujah. Amen. We got to bring every thought on the subjection. Hallelujah. Let y'all have his way. Hallelujah. In your life. Hallelujah, we'll be going, amen. We're going to go into prayer. First of all, amen, I give honor, amen, to the spirit of Yah. I give honor to my husband, Chief Apostle Ghost. I give honor to my mother, Rick Lee Lafitte. I give honor to my sister, Hannah. I give honor to all our viewers. I thank and I praise Yah for another opportunity to be in the Tapanapa tonight. Amen. I tell you, no, no one else that has me here but Yah. Amen. Nobody else. But I do have a mind yes. to be in the house of Yah. Amen. I know I know a lot of people in the church that don't have a mind to be in the house of Yah. 
They got a mind to be everywhere else, but they don't want to be in the house of Yah. A lot of people in the house of Yah tonight, all over this world, I'm telling you all what I know, they don't want to be there. Amen. Some of them just there, amen, because they don't have no other choice to be in church. Do you hear me? Yes. To be in church. Yes. I'm telling you. You let something happen to some of these people, amen, you'll see who will be in church. You'll see who will come to church. Amen. Do you hear me, mother? Amen. Let something happen. To some of these people, you're going to see. You'll know who's going to be in church. Yes, Lord. Do you hear me? I hear. See? Yeah. Y'all been talking to me about things a long, long time yes, ago. Lord. Yeah. And like I said, you better get right. Come playing with y'all. It's not going to get no one in, in, in the kingdom of y'all. Show life. Playing around with him, playing church. And saying you in the church, don't be like the five foolish virgins. They were playing around, but they didn't have what it takes yes. to make it into the kingdom of God. Lord, Lord. Come on, love y'all. Hallelujah. They didn't have what it takes. Because they were playing. They weren't being sincere about their soul. They were just coming and following along with the other. Five wise virgins, they were following the fool, the foolish one were following the wise, but they didn't take heed to what the wise were doing. Yes. They were just going along, dressing like them, looking like them, but they weren't living like them. Yes. Five were wise and five were foolish. Yes. But they played church. Amen. They didn't try to get nothing under the blood. They didn't try to get their sin under the blood. They just came along, and they thought that because they were with the five wives that, amen, when the bridegroom came, they thought that they were going to enter into the kingdom of God too, but they did. Yes. They did not enter in. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. So that's a power with amen tonight, to look in the mirror. Yes. That because everybody coming to church together, don't mean everybody going to make it into the kingdom of God together. Some not go to hell. Yes, Come on, love, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because everybody preaching the word just about. It don't mean that everybody gonna make it into the kingdom of God. Amen. Cause some not go to hell. Yes. Come on, love, yeah. Hallelujah. Look at Luke chapter ten. Luke chapter ten. Little Bible here in prayer. In the name of Yah, we just come before you, giving you all the thanks, giving you all the praises. Giving you all the glory. That's in you to forgive me all of my sins, all of my iniquity. Forgive your people, this world. Every entire soul that are living tonight, yeah. Forgive us all for ever sinning against you. And have mercy upon our soul. Help us to live according to your word. Like you say, yeah. From your perspective. In the name of Yah, we thank you and we praise you. Amen and amen. Thank you, yeah. Hallelujah. This is going to be just a scripture reading I do believe tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Luke 10 and 1 begins to read. After this, the Lord upon us, 70 other Taladim, and sent them on ahead in pair to every time and place, hallelujah, and place where he himself was about to go. Hallelujah. We can see here. He said, after this, the Lord. You're sure. He appointed. How many? Seventy. Seventy. He appointed seventy. Amen. Taladim. He appointed seventy other Taladim and sent them on ahead in pairs to every time and where and places where he himself was about to go. He sent out his telegram and it was 70 up. Yeah. He sent them out. He sent them out in pairs. A lot of times you say, well, why did he send them out in pairs? To 
two is greater than one. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said two is supposed to be greater than one. Amen. Hallelujah. When you got Yah with you on the inside, it's three. Yah, then the other two. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. See, two. See, I ain't no preacher. I ain't no deacon. I ain't no mother. Not supposed to be going to, amen, the men's houses by themselves. Amen. Not the male supposed to go, amen, to the women's house by themselves. Amen. Come on up, yeah. Now you supposed to meet them up at McDonald's and nowhere else by yourself. Come amen. on up, yeah. Because the Bible said, don't let your good to be what? Evil, Evil spoken of. Come on, love ya. Hallelujah. But we see, amen, in these days and times. They don't care, amen, nothing about the word of God. Amen. They don't care. They don't care nothing about the word of God. They don't care nothing about what God say. Amen. It's all about what I want to do. Yeah. But I'm going to let you know tonight what I want to do. What you want to do, and if it and if it don't come in alignment with the word of God, it's wrong, it's evil, and it's wicked. Come on up, yeah. Yeah. It's evil, it's wrong, and it's wicked. Yes. Come on up, yeah. Hallelujah. And I'm talking to someone here tonight. Amen. You can be in here or you can be out there. I don't care where you're at. The word of God goes for us all. Yes. I don't care if you's a sinner. You ain't got no business, amen, going to that woman's house when she ain't there. No. Amen. I don't care, amen, you, you's a sinner. You ain't got no business going to that man's house when he ain't there. Amen. And if his daughter and his wife and thing is there, you ain't got no business going to that man. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, love ya. Hallelujah. Oh, I know you don't want to hear. What you doing there? Come on, love ya. Hallelujah. What you want to hang around another man's house for, another woman's house for? Hallelujah. And they ain't that. Huh? When we was coming up as children, we wasn't allowed to go to nobody's house if they parents weren't there. Yeah. If they parents weren't there, we was not allowed to go to their house. Amen. And you better believe me, no one was allowed to come to our house Amen. if our parents were there. Come on up, y'all. We would stand up there to the fence and talk. Amen. But we, I sure didn't go to their house. Uh -huh. Not when their parents were there. Amen. We would stand out to the fence and talk. Or down in the road and talk. Amen. But we didn't let ain't nobody come to amen, our parents' house. When they wasn't there. Amen. If they came there, we say, you can't come in, you can't be here. They ain't here. We come to play. No, we can't come outside and play. Mm -hmm. And if we was outside playing, we can't play. Mm -hmm. you, we can't play with y'all. Y'all got to get on back down the road. Mm -hmm. You can't be caught in mother and dad or dad and mother yard when they is not here. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You have to come around and tell them. Yes, sir. And you know, that's something that how bold you was when you was a child to tell people that you couldn't come to your parents' house when amen. you was a child. And now, some of your men, amen, and some of your men nowadays, you can't stand up to a woman and tell a woman nothing. <laughs> Something wrong with you. Amen. You can't stand up to these uh, uh, men, women, you can't stand up to these men and tell these men, amen, that you can't come into my house, my husband out here. Amen. Come on, look, something wrong with you. Amen. Now I just, I just want, I just want some prayer. You don't want no prayer. Stand outside and pray with them. Amen. Stand outside and pray with them. Amen. They ain't got no business up in the house. Okay. This is where we're going somewhere tonight. Amen. Oh yeah. I know a lot of you people don't like it. Especially you all, amen, that in Kahoopa, you that doing stuff like this, I know you don't like it. I know you don't like I know you females and I know you males don't like it. And a lot of your preachers, you don't like to hear stuff like this. Because it's sound teaching. 
It's edified to the body of Christ. Come on, love y'all. That was wrong. Everybody scared to preach now. Sound doctrine. That's why, amen, the churches have fell backwards. Yes, Lord. That's why anything can go on into the house of God. Because yes, people, amen, want to satisfy, amen, people mm -hmm. to get a crowd, amen, or to satisfy their love, or, amen, who they love today. Yes, That's a lot what's going on. Uh -huh. But say, I ain't lusting at nobody. I suppose why I can preach like I can. Amen. Yeah. I'm not lusting. I'm not trying to, amen. I'm not trying to get you, amen, to lust after me or to like me. Amen. Come on, love y'all. Hallelujah. I've been chosen by God, amen, to yes. preach and teach his word. Yes, Lord. Not to lust after you. Not to tickle your fancy. Amen. But tell you what thus says y'all. Yes. And I know a lot of you men preachers don't like this. And I know a lot of you women preachers most definitely don't like it. Mm -hmm. You can hear a rat. T.T. on cotton. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. You can tell when the word being preached. Yes. Hallelujah. You can tell when you're stepping on people's toes. Yes. Come on, love y'all. Hallelujah. He's, listen here. He said, he said to them, to be sure, there is a what? Large harvest. But there are what? Few workers. See? The harvest are right. It's plenty of work I hear to do. Amen. When I say I hear in this world to do, yes. it's a lot of work to do for y'all. Yes. It's a lot of work, amen, to build up the kingdom of God. But it's few labels. It's few people. It's few people that want to preach sound doctrine. It's few people, amen, that want to live this Torah. Come on, love yeah. Very few of them that want to live this word. Yeah. Amen. Very few. They want to shuck and jive all the time, but they don't want to live nothing. They want to be that, 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 that pimping penguin, penguin, but they don't want to live nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, to be sure there is a large harvest, but there are few workers. Therefore, plead with the Lord of the harvest that he will speed workers out together his heart. We got to pray to Adonai. Hallelujah. Pray, amen, that he will raise up true preachers. Yes. True men. Amen. True women. Yes. True girls. Yes. True boys. Holy Hallelujah. people. That he will raise up a holy people. Yes. It's time, amen, to cry for a rush. How can those people, amen, to rise above it all? Amen. For people to be holy. Amen. People don't want to live nothing anymore. They don't want to be saved in the poor pit, but when they get out the poor pit, they want to live another life. That is not salvation. Amen. You want, amen, want to be saved in the church, but you want to live another life. That ain't salvation. Amen. Salvation is 24 7. Amen. Seven days a week. Yes. 24 hours a day. Yes. Come on, Lord. Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's not when you're in the house of God. And some of you ain't living holy then. Because you can't let your eyes be still. Amen. You can't let your mind be holy. You can't let your eyes be holy. Come on, love, yeah. You can't let your body be holy. Come on, love, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, yeah. He said, get going now. But pay attention. I'm sending you out like lambs among wolves. See? Pay attention. Me, listen. Take heed. Hear. Hear what, amen, Yah is saying. Hear what Elohim is saying unto us. Pay attention. 
He said, I'm sending you out as a lamb. Yes. Hallelujah. A monster, what? The wolves. Yes. See, people come to you, amen, in sheep clothing. Yes. yes, sir. Playing like, mm -hmm. acting like, they want to know about y'all. Playing like, acting like, they are saved, but deep down they are lusters, they are liars, they are homeowners. They're homosexuals, amen. They're yes. murderers. Yes. But yet and still, they want to play like they holy. Yes. They holy. Right. But they are not. Oh, but they are not. Oh, they are not holy. Mm -hmm. They're just some our wolf and she called me. Yes. Sending out they what? They lusting demons. Hallelujah. Sending out they lusting demons. Yes. Sending out they lying demon. Mm -hmm. Sending out they killing demon. Come on, love your children. Hallelujah. And you can tell, amen, when a lusting demon or another demon done got up on a person. Because yes. they ain't got the same attitude no more. Amen. They ain't the same person anymore. No. They are different human beings. Because yes. they ain't man, they're serving someone else. Yes, Lord. They're trying to serve God in the devil. We cannot serve God and the devil. Amen. We cannot serve Elohim and the devil. Hallelujah, Lord. It ain't the one we can serve. Amen. Because my Bible tells me, amen, that God said he's a jealous God. Yes. He said he'll have no other gods before him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He'll have nothing before him. Amen. Ain't no sin gonna come before him. Uh -huh. Sin thanks to the nostrils of God. Yes. So how can you say you hold it when you want it and dab it and sing it? Can't do it. Hallelujah. Can't do it. You're lying. The truth ain't in it. And I'll tell you to your face, you're a liar. Yes, Lord. And the truth is not in you. You might well you say, I'm, I'll knock you down. You may knock me down, but you won't stop me from saying it. Amen. Yes, Lord. Because if you should sure tell me to say it, I'm going to say it. Yes. Amen. I don't care how you puff, you puff and up. You're sure mean just what he said. Yes. We're gonna have to obey the word of God. Yes, Lord. Yes. If, if you want to make it to the kingdom yes. of God. He said, get going now and pay attention. I'm sending you out like a lamb amongst wood. Don't carry a money belt or a pack and don't stop. To what? To some moves with, with what? With people on the road. Don't stop the talk with people on the road. Amen. When we, amen, on a mission from Yah, when Yah don't send us, Elohim don't send us on a mission, mm -hmm. on a journey to preach and to teach His word, we don't have time, amen, to shuck and jive. We don't have time, amen, to laugh, amen, and go on. We got to get about our father's business. Yeah. Come on yeah. up, yeah. Hallelujah. And this is the same way when we come into the house of yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. We don't have time, amen, to sit up and talk. Amen. We come in here, amen, to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. To lift up holy hands. Yeah. To praise him, to worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes. It's time to hear the word. Yes. When we come into the house. Oh yeah. Time for the word to be preached. Time for amen us to pay attention to what is being said. Yes, Lord. Amen. It is the time to pay attention. Yes. I ain't say go to sleep. Amen. I said pay attention. Amen. Y'all get you a little nap during the day. They know who I'm talking to. <laughs> who? Y'all get your little nap done today. Yes, Lord. And sleep. Amen. And that go for me too? Amen. It's time, amen, not to we get in the house of y'all. Let us pray. Amen. Go to praying. Lifting them up, singing Zion songs. Hallelujah. Have all of this going on yes. in the house of Yah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let him have his way. Yes. Yes, Lord. 
Preacher, come on and preach. Amen. Let y'all have his way. Yes. No time to shut and job. Hallelujah. Come on, love y'all. Hallelujah. Got time, amen, to pose and amen and do all of this stuff. I'm not an amen. I'm, I'm not a mom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Preach and teach this word and keep going. Is it whenever you enter the house, first say shalom to the household. If a seeker of shalom is there, your shalom will find a rest with him. If there isn't, if there isn't it, a shalom there will return to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell us, amen. When we go into the house, amen. Somebody house. If they walk on us, if they walk on you, hallelujah. Your peace, amen, will remain there with them. But if they, they don't walk on you, hallelujah. Your peace will return back to you. So we have to be careful how we, amen, allow, amen, true men and women of God, how we treat them. When they come into our houses, when they come around us, we have to be very careful how we entertain them. Yes. Amen. Ooh, come on, love yeah. Hallelujah. I have, if I have a thought tonight, it would be be careful how you entertain. Amen. Men and women of God. Yes. Be careful how you treat them. Amen. Hallelujah. Be careful how you treat men and women of God. Oh yeah. Be careful. Hallelujah. I know a lot of time, amen, that in the Baptist way, amen, in the Baptist way, amen, in the tradition of the elders way, they would say, amen, that if the dead ain't in the house, amen, and a man of God was to come, amen, to another, amen, man of God house, amen, or whatever, if the mama or daddy there, they'll tell you to serve the mama or the dad before you do the pastor. You don't do that. That's out of order. That's out of order. Amen. Out of order. Yeah. I don't care who like it. I don't care who don't like it. Amen. It's out of order. Yes. If you don't have any teaching in the Baptist at all, they then they do it like that. How did they do? Did they feed the mom and dad first, or did they feed the preacher first? Feed the preacher first. Out of order. Amen. Out of order. Say, you pick it, pick it. Hey, you come to me or to your uh, papa? See, you go to play for it, then it comes. Out of order. It's still out of order. That's out of order. Always, always the men's and women's God first. And then, the yes. The preacher first. And then, yes. The that's right. But do things in order. Yeah. People be. What you say to your pastor? I hear you do the wife do the husband for the head of the house. And the big pastor. Okay. I'm out of order. Yeah. I'm out of order. I've seen the way Abraham and them were done. When the angels came. And when they always fed. They fed the angels first. Yeah, and the men of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but Abraham is that's how they stand. When you in the house first, say shalom to the household. If a seeker shalom is there, your shalom will find a rest with him. See, your shalom. You go to somebody's house and they welcome you. They give you peace. The peace will go and will stay there. Mm -hmm. But if you go to people's houses, and you know you can you carry bringing peace with you. You bring in love, you bring in God, and they don't want to receive it. It won't stay there. It'll come back with you. Yeah. It won't stay. Because they didn't accept. Amen. The shalom. Okay, I'm, I'm we'll find his rest with him. And if there isn't it, we'll return to you. Stay in that house. Stay in the same house, eating and drinking. What, the, what, what they offer 
for a worker deserves his wages. Don't move. Don't move or buy from house to house. He said, you know, like, you run in revivals. You run in revivals and things. Yes. The preachers, amen, run in revivals, amen, like during the week. They're not supposed to be going from house to house. They're supposed to stay where they at. Mm -hmm. Why God want them to stay where they at? So they can seek the face of God. Yes. Won't be no busy about it. Mm -hmm. Won't say that nobody came and be telling them nothing. Mm -hmm. Eat what the people put before you. Yes. Don't put heaven, amen, don't put burdens on the people. Mm -hmm. If they eat collard greens and cornbread, and give us collard greens and cornbread, we're supposed to eat it. Bless it and eat it. Yeah. Be thankful. That's what the word means. Amen. That's what it means. Amen. Bless it, eat it, and be thankful. Don't be going up and down the, the street. Don't be going up and down the malls and stuff. Seek the face of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I remember, hallelujah, I remember when we was, amen, used to have to have going to revivals, amen, up there, Detroit and places, amen. We didn't go up and down the road. We stayed there in the house and cooked and ate, and when we got through with that, we went in our room and laid down on our face. I laid down on my face, on my belly, and crying out to God for a word, as in the move, amen, done in service at night. Yeah. People don't want to do that. They don't do that anymore. Nope. Be crying out asking God to give us a word for the day. Yes. People don't lost the first love for God. Amen. Don't lost that first love. Drying up. You're sure it's drying up. Yes. On the inside. Yes. Because people don't want to seek it no more. They want to do everything at all. On hand and don't, I ain't doing nothing with me. All of this time. Yes. Amen. Rather sit down and watch television, entertainment or something. Yeah. They're sitting, doing nothing. Amen. Killing time. Yes. Day after day, killing time. Mm -hmm. Nothing being done. Amen. I don't feel sorry for no lazy people. I don't. Amen. I, I, I promise you, I don't. I hear him, and that's it. It said, For a worker deserves his wages. Don't move about from house to house. Whenever you come into a time where they may, whenever you come into a time where they make you welcome, eat. What is put in front of you? Heal the sick there and tell them the kingdom of God is near you. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell you when you come into a time. He said, heal the sick there. The people are supposed to be here. And tell them that the kingdom of God is near you. Yes, Lord. You're sure it's on his way back. But people don't want to hear this. Amen. They want to tell you everything, amen, amen. but about the word of God. Amen. They want to tell you everything but how to live, right? Amen. They want to tell you everything, amen, but how to love your own wife, how to love your own husband, amen, how to raise your children. Hallelujah. They don't want to hear this stuff. Amen. Come on here. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear, amen, you got to be, amen, humble. Yeah, amen. They don't want to hear, amen, that, amen, you can't be, amen, we can't, amen, we can't be, amen, lust of the liars. Amen. And this about it. They don't want to hear this stuff. No, they don't. First thing they'll say, you judge it, though. You talking about me. The word of God is talking about us. Amen. He ain't talking about us. He's talking to us. Yes, amen. Excuse me, I'm going to rephrase that. He don't talk about us. He talked to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Because one thing about amen, yeah, he ain't, he's not afraid of none of us. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, we better listen to the word of God and don't, don't lie y'all to come down and try to teach us nothing. 
Because even if he has to come down, it ain't going to be nothing pretty. Amen. It ain't going to be nothing nice. Amen. If you read your Bible, if you read your Torah, when they got up on y'all nerves, amen, in the book of Exodus and amen, the Genesis and all of that, amen, when they got on y'all nerves, amen, he, he whooped them. Yes. He punished them. Yes. He killed them. He killed them. Yes. And the people that began to get afraid, they didn't want, amen, they didn't want y'all to talk to them. They began to tell, amen, Moshe, Moshe, you won't talk to y'all. You talk to, you talk to, amen, God for us. You talk to him. Because if we talk to him, he's going to kill us. Because they have seen, amen, the anger of Yah. Yes. But the people today, up on this earth, in this world now, I don't care what Yah do, I don't care how much judgment, how many pledges he bring up on this earth, the preachers and all get, amen, so weak. Yes, so weak minded. Uh, so feeble minded. Yes. Hallelujah. So rebellious. Yes. So hard hearted. Yes. So stubborn. Amen. So homeowners. Yes. So many liars. Amen. Yes, Lord. I don't care what y'all bring down now. People don't care. Nothing seemed to, to shake the people. Nothing seemed to put fear in people. All of this murder going on, all this killing going on. People being slaughtered, babies, innocent babies are being slaughtered. People still don't have no fear, still don't have no concern. Well, long it ain't me. They don't care if it's their own children, they don't care if it's their own grandchildren. Long it ain't me. It's all about a me thing. All about a me thing. I ain't don't care about nobody but me. It ain't me. How sick. Yes, it is. How sick and Whoa. sad. Yeah. How can you say you're a holy go fear, Rosh Akadosh, fear person? Amen. And it don't bother you to see people not being saved. Amen. To see all this evil upon this world. Yes, Lord. How can you say amen you feel with the Rosh Akadosh? But nothing seemed to bother you. Mm -hmm. Only thing you think about is me. Me. You have to spend time with me. You have to get you some me time. Yes. Some self time. And that's all some of you get is self time. They're selfish. Selfish. People are so selfish now, you can they look selfish. You can look at them and say, that's a selfish person. Don't have no love of God nowhere they are. Just plain old mean and selfish. You ain't got to open your mouth. You can tell they're selfish. a time and they don't make you welcome go out into the streets and say even the dust is it even the dust of your time that stick to our feet will wipe off as what as a sign against you hallelujah but understand this that the kingdom of God in you. He said, people don't make you welcome in their time. In other words, shake the dust off of your feet. Amen. And you can't do it if you ain't got the rush I can dodge. Amen. You can't shake no dust off your feet, amen, if you ain't holy. Come on, up. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. I got to make this thing plain to the here, yeah. amen, yeah. to these here hypocrites. Hallelujah, because they think that when God speaks to the saints, 
They think that God is speaking to everybody. That's a lie from hell. Hallelujah. Amen. They love to say no weapon form. I, I sell another say no weapon form against me shall prosper. Mm -hmm. How can you say no weapon form against you shall prosper when you are set? Amen. You don't have God, amen, on your side. You don't have Yah on your side. Amen. He's talking to the saints. Amen. Yes, Lord. He said, no weapon form against us shall prosper. Yes. Amen. How can you shake the dust off of your feet, amen, against, amen, them against us, a testimony for God when you ain't holy, amen. when you ain't being obedient to the word of God? Amen. He ain't talking to you. Come on, Lord, yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm making it plain. Amen. So people think, amen, everything that God said to the saint, he said to everybody, he don't say it. Everything don't go to the amen. What God say to a sinner, repent. Yes, and that you don't want to do. Be filled with the rush I can die. Yes. That's what you don't want to do. Obey the word of God. That's what you don't want to do. Amen. Come on, I love you. Hallelujah. No, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to live right. But you're saying you're holy. Amen. The devil is alive. Amen. If you hold a man more than you got to know it. More than you know it. You've been born again more than you got to know it. And I ain't talking about wearing these dresses. I ain't talking about wearing these skirts. I ain't talking about wearing these coverings. Amen. I ain't talking about these men wearing these yarmulkes. I ain't talking about these men, amen, when he passes. But amen, it's your spirit down on the inside. It's going to bear witness with the word of God. Amen. Good yeah. yes. It's going to bear witness yes. to the Rosh Hakadash. Yes. You can well dress sweeping to the floor, amen. You can tell, amen, a sinner, amen, from a saint. That if you got the right discernment of the spirit, but a lot of you don't have it. Because you didn't look at what's in the dress or what's in the pants. You ain't discerning the spirit. It just looks. Come on, look, yeah. Hallelujah. It can be a male, amen, with the shape all they have. Amen. Hallelujah. It can be a male. But when it got some hair do, put on a dress, don't have the surgery, and you can't even tell, because your lust and self. Amen. You can't discern, because of your lust and self. Amen. Only thing you see what your eyes want you to see. Mm -hmm. You ain't discerning the spirit. Mm -hmm. You can see a male, amen, on win, amen. You can see a female, amen, don't went and had a surgeon, don't shaved all the hair off and don't got a breast surgeon. Amen. You ain't looking at, amen, the spirit. You didn't want to see, amen, that's a male. It could be a female. Amen. All messed up because of your lust and sin. Because you don't have the right discernment of the spirit. You can't tell what you're looking at. Amen. Because you want to satisfy your lust and spirit. Come on, love ya. <laughs> Nothing but old dogs. Nothing but dogs. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, yeah. It's that even the dust of your time, even the dust of your time that stick to our feet. We will walk, we will wipe what we will wipe out a sign against you. But understand this that the kingdom of God is near. Hallelujah. Amen. Shake the dust off your feet or give a sign to the people. Amen. And let them know that the kingdom of God is near. Yes. Hallelujah. And keep going. Amen. Don't look back. Hallelujah. I tell you, it 
it would be more tolerable on the day of judgment for Sodom and excuse me, it would be more tolerable on the day of judgment for Sodom than for that time. Amen. Amen. See, there are going to be terrible things going to happen. Mm -hmm. When true men and women of God, this is your time. Warn you by the things of God. Yes, sir. And you don't want to take heed. They can shake their dust off their off they feet or get a testimony against you. Amen. And won't. It'll be worse than Solomon and Gomorrah. Yes. That's what the word of God is saying. He said, but warn them. Let them know that the kingdom is near you. Yes. Hallelujah. The kingdom is near us, y'all. You better believe it. Hallelujah. Thank you, y'all. You ought to know the words of prayer. Pray for my strength tonight. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. I pray I said something. Amen. That will bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's stand. Thank you, Abby Thank you, Abby Abba. Give a hand clap of praise. Amen. Give another hand clap of praise. And let's give a pastor a hand.